Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to take a look on this different type of video today. We're going to take a look at some of the new icon swaps that came out today, as well as some of the re-release -re SBCs and talk about some of those that came out today uh, on FIFA. So yeah, you guys definitely can tell right now this is a different type of video. I'm on vacation with the family at the moment, uh, so I did not have the setup, don't have the PS4 with me, don't have any of that stuff, and I'm actually kind of recording down by the beach kind of uh, later nighttime down by the beach right now. Soft flex, if I may. Um, but that's kind of what we're doing at the moment. So hang hang tight with these videos, boys. Probably one or two of these coming. I have a couple other pre-recorded uploads that I will, I will be putting out in uh, the coming days as well as we head towards 2020 and the new year, uh, which is when I'll be back um, doing the content per usual. But I want to get this video out today and kind of talk to you about my feelings on the icon swap. I'm sure you heard a lot about it today. And also talk about these re-released SBCs. So we'll talk we'll talk about SBCs first and look at maybe some of the market movements because of those. Uh, Scream Milner came back out today, and you kind of see this on the cover of Foot. You kind of see this on the cover of um, the campaign app as well. They're talking about the re-releasing of SBCs, and at the moment, uh, this Milner card is priced very reasonably at right about sixty thousand coins, which is like almost two hundred k less than it was right away when it came out during the Scream promo. Um, and I think it was very overpriced earlier this year when it first came out. So, I mean, this is cool that they get to re-release these SBCs, but I just don't, I saw Nepenthes tweet about this today and I, I kind of agree with him because I don't really know how this looks for EA because, you know, you, you know, maybe you did Mascherano right away, or maybe you did, uh, maybe you did, um, Scream Milner right away. And when you do those SBCs, you don't really have in mind that, oh, these could possibly be re-released sometime in the future. You really don't think about that. Maybe until the very end of, end of the year, like we're talking like July and August time, you might think, okay, maybe it's a possibility that, that those get re-released. But uh, getting re-released already, I mean, we're in, we're in December, almost the end of the year, and it's kind of cool what they're doing, right? They're doing a year, uh, what do they call it? They called it a they call it a re-release year in review. So, I mean, it, it is a cool kind of aspect, I guess, to have the, the re-release year in review, but I just kind of wish they would have maybe done it in a, in a different way, uh, I guess. But uh, yeah, so those SPCs are out. They're really cheap. So if you want to snag those, do it. I would say Mascherano is honestly the most good value one you could do because I think 87s right now go for 27,000 coins or something like that. Or actually 87s go for like 20 to 21K. But if you can do Mascherano, he's 24K from scratch. If you can do do it with a few cards from the club, you might be getting yourself a nice little discard 87 rated card right there. Because Mascherano shows him flipping as 24,000. And uh, Milner for 59K as well if you're a Liverpool fan. Might as well, right? It's a nice Milner card. Uh, kind of a cool boost to that card. Pretty solid, like CDM maybe. So that's, you know, it's interesting for me. Yeah, it's like, it's cool, I guess. But I just think it doesn't show... It doesn't make SBCs valuable the first time right away if you know that they're going to get re-released in the future, I guess is really what I want to say about the Milner and about the Mascherano. And one last thing I do want to say about this is I'm really hoping, see this Once to Watch logo on the, on right here? Once to Watch. There's Flashback, Once to Watch, and the screen card design. I'm really hoping that that Once to Watch means we're getting a re-release of Quincy Promez's wants to watch card, which has already gotten an upgrade because that was an SBC, if I'm not mistaken. So I'd be pretty pumped to see that card re-released if we did get uh, a wants to watch re-release, which it looks like we're going to based on this graphic that they have put on the home screen and also in the companion app. So I'm kind of hoping for that. Now, maybe we should talk about some icon swaps, right? That's the, that's the craze right now at the moment. So I do have a picture pulled up over here on Twitter of the icon swaps. You guys have probably already seen this. These are the cards that we can get through grind in the game in the new thing this year called icon swaps um yeah i don't know man i'm just feeling kind of meh about this i'm sure a lot of you guys are as well I've, i'm sure you've seen a lot of posts on twitter about this it just feels kind of meh right like we look at the top tier of cards you have prime Essien, which looks great but then baby Vieira and baby ronaldinho like this icon swap series if you're grinding for any of these top three cards up here you're going to be grinding until almost march Almost March, I think, is when this uh, this season one, when these icon swaps will end. And when we get to almost March time, we're talking prime icons and we're talking primer, the moments icons. I mean, uh, like that's what people are going to be looking forward to in that part of the game. So getting a baby in your club at that time of the game just seems a bit lackluster for me at the moment. They did drop some prime icons in here. Of course, Essien, 
Uh, Luis Hernandez, Sol Campbell is a prime, Lineker is a prime, Barnes is a prime, Nakata is a prime, Perez is a prime, and I think that's all the primes if I look down below. But again, I think the player selection here is not bad. I think the tier selection here is not the greatest. I would have loved to see a middle Blanc. I would have loved to see actually baby Del Piero, middle Vieira, and maybe even middle Ronaldinho. If we would have saw those cards with the exact same requirements, I would have been a lot happier, right? Even middle Sadorf, middle Zambrata, or um, middle, or actually prime Raul would have been sick. So just a lot of the cards in here, I wish they would have upped them up to their tier, basically. And that would have made it a lot better and a lot more not more grindable, right? Because especially if you take into account how much time this icon swaps takes, it takes a long time to get these cards, man. And that's kind of my predicament. Not having a ton of time with having a full-time job and stuff like that, it really doesn't make me want to grind the swaps and grind the objectives to get these cards because it really just takes so much freaking time that I don't have. And I would rather spend that time on the market, spend that time trading and going through some of that stuff with you guys uh, instead of actually grinding out the games for the swaps or grinding out the games for squad battles and stuff like that. So that's you may have seen a tweet from me earlier today, and actually I can pull it up for you guys right now. Um, I did say, I think I actually, I think I posted right here. I said, I'll be honest, it took uh, way too much of my time getting 11 swaps last time around, so I might end up with somebody around the 6 to 14 swap range, which last time I ended with 11 at Roberto Carlos. Um, and I mean, there's some decent options in here again, but I mean, I just really don't feel like I want to spend a lot of my time grinding for these cards because at that point of the game, I'm going to, I'm going to probably try to grind this right away, get to my six, get my hero and call it quits and kind of forget about it. Uh, because from then on, I'll be, I'll be focused on team of the year, man. And that's coming very soon. And we're going to be talking more about that kind of stuff later this week as well. So team of the year is coming, uh, and that is going to be in the forefront of people's minds very, very soon. But I do want to take a look at a couple cards today. We're going to use Hierro as one of our examples again. There were some definite market movements because of, nice little flip and add there, because of these cards getting released into swaps today. Let's take a look at uh, Hierro's graph. He was 384,000 coins, 389, filtering between 350 and 390, which is in his normal range. He gets dropped into swaps. People panic sell because they think, oh no, this card's value is going to go down because he's now attainable in an untradable way through objectives. Goes down to 311,000 coins and is now back up to 340K where he almost was before he came out. So that's something that's interesting to watch when we do get these uh, swaps released. A lot of people do go out and panic sell some of the icons. I'm going to look at uh, Campbell as well. Soul Campbell Prime card, which has not been in packs for long, so it doesn't have a ton of supply, but he was like uh, somewhere on the upper 800Ks before this. He was 896. I mean, these prime, these prime icons tend to fluctuate a lot right now since they're still pretty rare, but he was upper in the middle 800s earlier today before he was released in swaps. We went down to 770 and has rebounded back to 870 as we speak right now. So that's definitely like a 100K swing, which is pretty crazy, right? Because these cards are valuable and they're still rare, especially for the primes. So uh, that was kind of crazy to see some of that today. I also want to check the index 84 and the index 83 on... Did anything move because of the SBC today? It looks like a little bit. It looks like some people are maybe doing Mascherano and um, and Milner a little bit because you see the 84s and the 83s have risen up a little bit as we do speak this time. Even the 82s as well. What about 85s? 85s are up a smidge. 86s are kind of still chilling. So, I mean, if we do, if we do still look at some of these high-rated cards, just kind of taking a quick scroll through the market, 86s look very cheap at 14 k 87s look pretty cheap as well at 20 to 21. 88s at 26 are getting pretty cheap as well. So I know a lot of people are looking at the messy SBC right now and they're saying, man, this is really cheap. If I can go find this SBC, they're saying that this SBC is really freaking cheap at the moment because of how low some of the higher rates have got. 1.849 for Messi, which he was actually 2.1 on the last day of footness and he's dropped down to 1.8. So if that's something that you guys have interest in, I mean, you could definitely monitor that. Although I would say the way prices are trending this year, maybe just hold off on that. Maybe just hold off on that SBC. Don't go and buy stuff just yet and hold off on your coins for that. But also, if you guys are considering the base icon upgrade, I would say, I would say steer clear from that, please. Um, just because it doesn't seem to be worth it, you know? It just does not seem to be worth it. Dropping 365,000 coins. It is more worth it now than it was before, but still just kind of meant value, in my opinion, at this time of the game, based on what else is out there. 
The 82 to 88 upgrade is not too bad at all. I would just, again, be careful as we head into team of the year, rinsing your club of rare golds, which I think is what this requires. I think this SBC requires rare golds. Or does it just require golds at all? Let me look in the front here. I have not actually done any of these SBCs myself. So the 82 to 88, where is it at, right? It is right. Is it in Fopus? Where is it at, man? Where is this 82 to 88 upgrade? Here it is. Repeatable expires in four days. 11 players gold. So it expires in four days. So that's not going to be, it's going to be before team of the year when this expires. So if you guys want to uh, hit up some of these, honestly, these are not too terrible of value. You literally can't pack anybody that's above 88 rated. So it's literally just an 82 to an 88 rated card you will be getting. But I have seen people pull some nice high rated fodder out of these, which it could be nice to maybe try your luck, maybe do five to 10 of these and see what happens before we head into a time of the year, aka team of the year, where there's going to be a lot of upgrades and a lot of stuff coming. Now, again, as of right now, as of this time, I don't think there's going to be a promotion coming this today on Friday. It seems just like, it seems almost like this re-release stuff and the lingering icon swap footman stuff is going to be a promo. So as I'm recording this right now, I don't see anything coming out for a new promotion, like no, another set of Road to the Finals. I don't hear anything about that at all. Uh, and then last thing I do want to check on is some of these um, Thursday flips that I did. I, fl I flipped a lot of cool Bollies with Shadows thanks to the Allen that came out via Red Picks. Uh, and in my Red Picks, I got Illicic and I got um, Max were the two Red Picks that I got for, for Gold 3, which I did was able to, to attain. So uh, since the Allen's in Team of the Week, I did a little bit of a link investment with him. All these cool Bollies were bought with Shadows for 70K or under, so nothing spectacular. You know, three to five, six, seven K a card after tax after some of them. So I got most of them for like 68 to 67 K. So not terrible, not great. Just, just okay. Therese, I got it like 155 to 160. So I made a little bit on those. So I got a 30 K. DeYoung, I got a 72. Ben Yedders, I got both at 150 in the panic cell from his team of the week. And just some other random things that I'm still kind of flipping down here. Some gold sterlings still left as well. So Thursday building was just fine and dandy. Okay. This week, I'm not paying too much attention to the market at the moment as I am on vacation with the fam. So you probably won't see too much trading out of me, too many coins being made just yet. But uh, as we do get closer to team of the year, we will definitely be on that grind because it's going to be upgrade pack season, boys. I'm telling you, it's going to be upgrade pack season as we get towards team of the year. I really hope they put out those same upgrades, the league upgrades that they did last year. I'm going to be smashing those when the time comes. So, if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. If you have any comments about icon swaps, definitely comment down below. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about those just because they don't factor within me too much. If you guys want me to do a different video on talking about those and, of course, maybe going through some of the best options, let me know and I can possibly do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, for me, it just does not seem like the best, super, super best value unless your entire goal of FIFA is maybe to get like Essien Prime or maybe to get a version of Ronaldinho. Uh, then obviously now you can do that in an untradeable way instead of having to actually like pay up for the card. You can now actually get yourself a quote-unquote free baby Ronaldinho if that's one of your goals for FIFA. So that's the nice thing about that. But if you don't have any personal connection to any of these icons, and for me, it, it just it's just kind of meh again. So, But if you enjoyed this video, again, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.